Good morning everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. I'm glad you could join me today for another installment of the portable Morse code paddle series that I have. Whether you're a uh, returning viewer or a newcomer, I hope that you find these videos informative and enjoyable. In this video, I'll be taking a closer look at the Magic Rabbit QU21C dual paddle. On certain websites, it's also listed as the QU2020A dual paddle. Before we get going with that though, I'd like to remind you to check the comments below in this video and all the videos because there's information there that supplements what I talk about in these videos. We have comments from other people who view these videos and have uh, very good information. So uh, make sure you check those comments and, and uh, get the latest information on uh, these reviews. Additionally, I want to let you know about the membership subscriptions that are available both here on my YouTube channel and also on my Patreon page. You'll be able to gain early access to some videos, uh, gain exclusive content, and uh, also join our Telegram chat where we'll, we'll uh, you know, chat every day on different topics and uh, keep up to date on the latest things in ham radio and other perks that will help you enjoy our uh, channel and our content. So with that, let's go ahead and get over and take a look at the QU21C. At the time of this recording, these paddles were selling for about $26 on eBay. They can also be purchased on AliExpress. Most of the eBay sellers list the same five bullet points as a description for this paddle. Number one, compact in size. Number two, dual paddle automatic telegraph key. Number three, base magnetic absorption type. Number four, CW Morris code key. And number five, CW key for do-it-yourself uses. This really doesn't give the purchaser enough information about this paddle. With the provided pictures from the website, you can deduce that this is a spring tension paddle, and you can actually see in there the spring. And uh, it does allow, though, for spacing right here, the spacing adjustments on either side. Recently, I fed ChatGPT the weight of all the paddles I've reviewed so far, and I included the cable weight in the weight of each of the paddles and asked for the uh, ChatGPT algorithm to give me three reasonable paddle weight ranges. And I'm pretty confident in these ranges. We've got low is 45 grams or less, or actually less than 45 grams. Medium is 45 grams to 85 grams, and high is above 85 grams. All right, let's go ahead and weigh the paddle now. I think it comes in right around 43 ounces with the, 43 grams with the cable. 43, yeah, okay, good. So, like I said, it comes in at 43 grams. That's right at the top level of the low weight range that I mentioned earlier. So, it's pretty good, pretty good weight there. All right, let's get a ruler here to sh look at the dimensions of this paddle. And it looks like it's about five centimeters in length, and then the height is right around one, two. And then the width is right around two as well. So I'm gonna start transitioning away from using the Pico Palm as the standard measure to give you guys perspective on the paddles uh, in these reviews. And uh, just use this, this uh, ruler or the green mat to, to give you perspective in the future. Uh, but for reference, the Pico Palm is six and a half centimeters by two by one and a half centimeters. As you can see, the paddle came with a couple of these metal adhesive pads. You, you take the sticker off the back and you adhese them to something. And then the, uh, the magnet on the bottom of the paddle sticks. We've got a Allen wrench and then I'm not quite sure what this is. It's just a piece of uh, adhesive. This may be just to kind of help uh, so things don't get scratched. And of course we have the, the cable that came with it. You can see that this paddle had a square magnet glued to the bottom of it for mounting to the top of a metal surface. Uh, included it were these adhesive things to mount to, but unfortunately the magnet separated from the paddle after my first soda activation. I had this uh, connected here like that, put it on the radio, and went and grabbed it after my activation and it came right off. So, I mean, it's a pretty uh, strong magnet, but at the same time the adhesive just wasn't strong enough to keep it on to the paddle. These paddles came with the wide spacing in uh, the uh, spacing adjustment. And uh, let me just show you how, how wide is spacing the, uh, each of these 
sides had. You uh, may want to bring the paddles to get the, the spacing together quite a bit to get better performance. I used the paddles actually both ways as they were shipped to me and then I also adjusted the, them for a tighter contact. And in both cases they felt about average as far as agility goes. Nothing special but I was comfortable sending and I, I, didn't, send with, I didn't send any errors uh, that uh, were caused by the paddle so it was, it, it was decent. This paddle does come with a 3.5 millimeter jack in the back. Let me see if I can get that to focus. And you can see there on the back, it says Magic Rabbit QU21C. Uh, but the shipping actually and the order uh, it was the uh, QU2020A. So I don't know, it's uh, kind of confusing what name it really is. <laughs> to purchase these paddles, I would recommend logging into eBay and doing a search for the QU21C dual paddle. Uh, don't put Magic Rabbit in the, in the search, just put QU21C in eBay, or you could use QU2020A, and in either case, you should be able to pull up a version of this paddle. They're all, they all look almost identical, if not identical. Uh, either search will give you what you need. There's, there's multiple vendors out there, so you can just choose between which vendor gives you the best price, whether it's eBay or uh, uh, AliExpress, or there might be others out there as well that I haven't, haven't noticed. So that brings us to the grading, and as usual, I threw out a disclaimer. I understand that everybody may have a slightly different opinion about what's important and how a, a paddle might be graded. And so, you know, I just want to emphasize that these are my thoughts according to my experiences, and, and uh, so your experience may vary. So let's get going with the first thing, and let me move some stuff out of the way here so we can have room for all the grades right here. So first of all, let's talk about cost. For this paddle, I am going to give it a B. The paddle is very affordable uh, at only $26 plus shipping at the time of this recording. It's possible that it'll go up uh, a little bit more than that. It might be $30, $35 total by the time you purchase it at this point. Uh, I would say it's not a high quality paddle though. Like a few, a few of the other paddles that I've reviewed, mostly of those I've, I've gotten on, on the discount websites as well, off of eBay or AliExpress. So it's really inexpensive for a reason. When we come to durability, this paddle is going to have a grade of a C. Uh, my, I was considering maybe even a D, but it it's, uh, looks like it's pretty durable. It's inexpensive and uh, it does have some metallic parts in there and and uh, the, the plastic is not just uh, your run-of-the-mill plastic. So it should hold up relatively well, but I wouldn't expect it to be a top performer for years on end. It'll, it'll uh, wear out and uh, you'll have to get a new one soon after a while. As far as weight goes, this paddle is barely within the lightweight category, so I'm going to give it a B. As far as size goes, the QU2020A or the uh, QU... Uh, 21C is uh, definitely small and compact and is uh, it can still do the job so it definitely receives an A for its size. For agility I'm going to say C. Nothing to write home about here. The paddle feels uh, like the other paddles I reviewed from that I've got off of eBay and uh, it's, it's, it's just okay. So you know average. Customer service I'm going to say a D because you don't count on getting any assistance from uh, whoever manufactured this off of the websites or anything. At this price point, you are better off just accepting the fact that if you encounter problems with it, you should just purchase another replacement. That's, and that's the case with, uh, you know, with this magnet here that I, I have that fell off. I'm just going to have to glue it back on myself or, or just get another one. As far as the enclosure goes, it definitely is enclosed, so that's a pass if it fills the requirement and the contacts are protected inside there. As far as mounting goes, very unhappy with that. Uh, I'm going to give it an F. I think it's the first time I've ever given out an F. Here, here we have the one and only feature that this offers as far as mounting is this uh, magnet that's glued to the bottom here. After one use, fall, it fell right off, so it, it failed. Uh, it failed on me and it, it gets a failing grade. As far as beauty goes, I like the look of it. I think it's a, it's a pretty cool looking paddle, nice and compact and small, and the paddle, the, the levers themselves are, are, have a good surface area to them, so I'll say uh, give it a B for uh, the beauty. 
And so that wraps up my thoughts on this key. So let's go ahead and get it plugged into the radio and give it a test run. Okay, before we get started, just let me mention that I did tighten these paddles back up and so they're not loose like they were when I received them in the mail. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, run this test and see what we get. Okay, that's it for the Magic Rabbit QU21C Dual Paddle. This is a paddle that is definitely for a beginner or somebody who's just getting into Morse code. It's something you might consider purchasing if you're on a tight budget and a beginner in portable ops. Uh, and so if you are, this might be the right fit for you. So thank you so much for joining this channel. I hope that you uh, get, got something out of it. Remember that this is a series. We'll have more paddles coming up in the future. And uh, so with that, I'll say 73 to you guys and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.